Hi friends, Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel. So in our last session, we have seen how to create card region. Now I'm going to show you how to, I mean, we have a lot of flexibility in uh, this card region. I will show you what, what are the other features, uh, what you can do with the, with this, uh, you know, with this card region. You can do a lot of other stuff as well. That is what I'm going to show you now. So I'll quickly go and edit this page using this edit page too. And uh, here we have this region. Uh, this, this is nothing but your card region project information. I'm going to do uh, some uh, changes in this card region. So, so the first thing what I want you to show is, let's say if you want to add a, you know, add a logo or maybe uh, some, some symbol over here in this card. So how you can do that? For that, what you can do, you can go to this attributes and here you have these all these attributes of this uh, region. When you'll come down, uh, you can see there is a place called icon and badge. So here you can, uh, you know, give the icon to this uh, this region or these cards basically. So I'll choose uh, something from here. You have a lot of things: initials, icon, class, column, and all the things. So we do not have any column in the in the table. What we can do, we can give an icon class to this. Okay, so let's select this and then you'll get this place where you can write your class. You have an option to select those class as well. So click on this. And you can see all these pictures. Uh, I mean, uh, the deck of these pictures. All right, so you can select anything. You can write with your keywords as well. So I, I'll just search by data I'll hit enter. And here you have a lot of these uh, uh, icons as per uh, this search. Okay, so I'll just select this uh, FA database and I will save this and we'll run this. Uh, so, see, you can see all the uh, you know icon got created over here with each of the card. Okay, now you can change the position of this icon, icon as well. So how you can do that here, we have this option icon position. So let's say if we'll keep it at end, uh, we'll save it and we'll run this page again and you will see that position got changed. Okay. One more option we have as top. We'll quickly select this, we'll save this and run this page. You can see it, it, it is there in the top. Okay. So this is how you can uh, choose your icon. So we'll keep it at start only. It looks good. Let's run. Okay, here we are. Now let's say we have another option as to add a badge, badge column. You, you can see here we have a badge column. You can add a badge as well in the uh, section. So let's say I will, what I'll do, I will make this as a badge. This is nothing but our um, budget. I will make this as badge. And what 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 is the name of this column? Well, uh, how we can check this? We can go to the region and here in the query we can see budget is card secondary body. This is this is the column alias name, and uh, we are going to make this as badge. Cancel it. Go to attribute again. Scroll down, and here in in badge column, what you can do. Uh, Click on this card secondary body and save, then run. And you can see here you got this badge. Okay, so this is additional thing. If you want to give some more information, you can do it over here. All right. Okay. Mm, fine. So let's remove this it this from here. To remove it, what we can do. Uh, okay, what we can do, let's change the query. We, we will do it, we'll create one more column of here and we'll say, we'll make this column as blank and we'll create one more column, we'll say budget and we'll, we'll say card. Uh, okay, we already have card badge here. Yeah, so what we will do, we will make it as budget, okay? Uh, 
uh, we'll validate it and okay save run it went away and we cannot see the badge as well what i'll do i will go to attributes and here in badge column i have to select that column actually here you can see this card badge choose it save and run and now we can see this badge as well all right so this is how we can give badge and you can you know create your icon over here now we have uh, another feature as you can create multiple actions so what you can do under actions if you will right click on it you can create action so let's say we will we'll create one action and by default it a button gets created over here and the name of this button is new okay so uh, so so you can you know you can do a lot of things using this button maybe you, if you want to redirect yourself to some other place or some other page you can do that or maybe to other url you can do that okay so i'll i'll show quickly show you with let's say if i'll create a button called google and what i'll do here in the link i will say that redirect to url okay and click on this and here i'll give a url position so what i'll say https and i'll do www.google.com and i'll say okay and we'll save this okay now we'll run this and you can see here you have this google uh, you know button at every cards so this is how you have created a button and when you'll click on this you will get redirected to google because you have given link of this url okay now go back to this place here now you can change uh, you know you can change the color of this button as well i will show you how you can do that so here uh, we have an option as link attribute mm, or maybe appearance yes 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 class here you can we have a lot of classes i will i will select uh, I will I will write one as you danger. So this will make your button as red color. So I'll save it quickly, run this page, and you can see this button got created and it will re redirect you to, uh, you know, this Google page. Similarly, you can create one more button. Just click on this action, right click on it, click on create. And here again, one bo one button got created. You can you can give anything. I'll, let's say I'll say Facebook, okay. And again, I'll I'll say that redirect to URL, and I'll give a URL as hmm, https www dot facebook dot com, and I'll click on OK, save. And I'll create CSS class as u underscore hot. Okay, save it again and run it. And you can see another another button got created, and this will redirect you to Facebook. Similarly, you can create one more uh, action. Let's say I'll either you can create right click on this action thing, or you can right click on this already created button itself. Okay, you can duplicate it as well, and you can click on this create action also. So I'll, I'll click on this create action, and I will say this time as redirect to home page. Okay, and here, uh, here I'll say that redirect to page in this application, and I'll give the page number. I'll, I'll say go to page one. Click on OK, and save, and run. So here, you one more uh, button got created. You can, uh, you know, change the position also. So all these buttons are left aligned. Let's say if you want this to be here, right aligned. How you can do that? Uh, you have an option as layout and primary, the position as primary or secondary. Let's say you have selected secondary, save and run. This home gets right aligned over here. And now if you will click on this button, you can reach out to home page, page number one. This is page number one, okay? Again, go back to card region. 
Now let's say you don't want this uh, button. You want to click on the uh, this <coughs> card itself, and this this will redirect you to some other place. So how you can do that? This that can also be done uh, here uh, in identification. You have created a button. So instead of that, you can say that full card. Okay, if you'll select full card, the 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 feature of this action will be same. Only uh, representation will get changed. So instead of button, now you have this full card option. Just save it and run this page. Now you can select this complete card itself. If you and you can see this home button is not there because that button went away. And now the same feature you have when you will click on this card. So let's say if I'll click on this card, you reached to this place, okay? Similarly, let's say you don't want to click on the card. You want to click on, let's say, title. So you can select title from here and save it, run it. And now you do not have this home button. You will not be able to click on the, uh, um, the card but you can click on this icon okay you can see this got highlighted in blue color so if you will click on this thing you will reach out to this place so these type of features we have in card type region you can use it as per your requirement so that is what i wanted to uh, maybe inform you and you i want you to take advantage of this all right uh, yeah one more thing uh, we have four cards it at one go in in second row we have an again four cards so this this layout can also be changed how you can do that go to your project information here in attributes and this is your grid and in grid columns you can select the number of columns whatever you want so let's say if i'll select three columns and i'll save it so you can see currently we have four columns. So this is one column, this is one column, this is one column, this is one column. Now let me run this page. And now you can see you have three columns. Instead of four columns, you have three columns. So again, this can also be aligned as per your requirement. All right, so that's it for today. If you have any question or uh, want to know something more, you can comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Thanks, thank you, bye.